Hey y'all, sugar ballerina, aka Val, aka VL, no cap, all over case letters. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more fitness videos, more beauty videos, more etc. videos. Um, we have fun over here, I think I'd like to say. Whatever, okay, bye. Um, so today I filmed my abs slash core routine. This video is highly requested. Um, ever since I've basically started my fitness journey, people have been asking me how I trim my abs, how I got my abs, da 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 da, etc. etc. So I finally filmed it and I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips before I get started with the video. First and foremost, I do not do this workout routine every single day. I do this workout about once or twice a week. I usually like to tag it along with my upper body days or my cardio days. I usually never do this on my leg days just because my leg days tend to be already super long and um, I'm not trying to be in the gym for four hours because then it's almost like idolatry and yeah we can't make idols out of the gym even though we like the gym we still gotta put God first <laughs> yeah so in order to see more definition in your abs you're gonna have to gain some muscle mass in your abs I would like to mention and highlight that training your abs every single day is not necessarily needed for you to see ab definition okay and the reason why I say this is because if you are doing your compound movements correctly such as the squat bench, deadlift, military press, anything like that, you're already activating your core in those exercises. Um, if you're properly engaging your core in those exercises, there's no need to be training your abs every single day, okay? So that is why I only do this routine once or twice a week. I just want to make a small disclaimer before getting into the video. You might need to be in a lower body fat percentage for your abs to show, which means that you will need to be eating in a caloric deficit. Um, this is the part that is dependent on the person, so it really depends on your genetics. For example, my body fat percentage is 18%, but I know that my abs also do show when I'm bulking and I'm even at 20, 21% body fat. So this is the part that depends on the person. So keep this in mind while you're doing these workouts, okay? So I can give you the workouts, which you're gonna have to do your part with your diet because abs is basically 80% diet and 20% training, okay? Um, with all that being said, let's get into the video.
so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>